Phil Romongus has here, coming on you with something a little unique compared to the rest of my channel. And this video is going to be part one of a little series called Doom Levels Easiest to Hardest. You can also call it Doom Levels Ranked by Difficulty. There are 36 total levels in the entire Ultimate Doom game. I will start with the easiest, and then eventually end with the hardest, but since this is just part one, you're just going to be seeing the easiest levels for now. So we're going to be ranking levels number 36 through 30, meaning the 7 easiest levels in Ultimate Doom will be featured in this specific video. So now let's begin. First, number 36. The easiest level in Ultimate Doom, Episode 1, Map 1, Hangar. <laughs> the most iconic map in the entire game. It's very short, and there's not that many different types of monsters, and there's not that many monsters, and mainly just the easy types, unless you play in the two harder difficulties, which in that case, you'll be facing against shotgunners, the most dangerous enemy in the game. This level just get much harder on Nightmare difficulty, just like most of the levels. But especially so because of the addition of the shotgunners, and because you only have a pistol. So this really makes respawning monsters a very hard obstacle. But if you look on my channel, you'll see that I have a mini Let's Play series of Ultimate Doom on Nightmare difficulty. And I've yet to complete the series, but I'll try to get back on it. But you can see me taking down the first three levels of Ultimate Doom, and then getting stuck on Episode 1, Mission 9. Now I may be able to handle the first three levels of Ultimate Doom, and for that you may see them on this episode of the series. But I have a feeling that the future maps in the game are gonna be way harder. But now here we are, nearing the end of episode 1, map 1. Next, on to episode 1, map 2. Episode 1, map 2 is the second easiest level in the game. Even on the two highest difficulties, you're not very likely to find any shotgunners. Unless you decide to go to a certain exit in the map, that is. But otherwise, the rest of the level just has zombie men and imps. Though I put this level above episode 1 map 1, simply because this level is a little longer and it has and it has a room where you fight imps in the dark. But these two levels are very close in difficulty and are fairly easy compared to the rest of the game. Next, on to number 34 the third easiest level in Ultimate Doom, and that would be Episode 3, Map 1, Hellkeep. Now this map is easy because just like any other Map 1 in any other episode, except for the one in Episode 4, this map is short, but additionally there aren't any hit scanners in this map, mainly just imps, cacodemons, and pinkies. And you could try getting the imps and cacodemons to infight each other, where the cacodemons will win and then you don't have to deal with imps anymore. The most challenging part, I would say, is in the narrow hallway with pinkies, and this would be somewhat harder if I didn't have the shotgun and just had the pistol to deal with the pinkies. But overall, this level is very easy, especially when put in comparison to the very next level you face. But I'll be talking about that level in a future episode of this series. And now, the fourth easiest level in Ultimate Doom, which would be Episode 1, Mission 8, Phobos Anomaly. Now I'm ranking this as the easiest of the three original boss levels. Mainly because for every difficulty level except for Ultraviolence Plus and Nightmare, the two barons are way easier to defeat than the cyber demon or the spider mastermind. 
Although if you're playing this level on nightmare difficulty, this level becomes the hardest because the pinkies become fast and they become way more dangerous and on top of their respawning. So at nightmare difficulty, this level becomes one of the hardest in the game. Because take a look at how this level is on nightmare difficulty. Same old, same old. I blast the barrels, a few pinkies stay alive, and then I get mauled by them and they shred my health cause they can jump way more frequently than they could in other difficulties. And it really doesn't help that there's also the invisible variants of them. But anyways, here we are, back on a regular difficulty. Now this level would be especially easy if you're coming in from Episode 1 Map 7 Computer Station after completing the rest of the episode and getting a rocket launcher which can be used to kill these two barons really quickly. It takes only about 5 to 6 rockets for each baron. And now the fifth easiest level in Ultimate Doom, which meaning it's ranked the 32nd is episode 3 mission 8 this in the original version of doom this was the last boss and the last level in the entire game until episode 4 came along in ultimate doom's release but this spider mastermind supposedly the toughest enemy in the ultimate doom game is very much a pushover as a final boss and if you're playing on Nightmare difficulty, this level just gets even easier because of the double ammo. But regardless of difficulty level, you don't even have to fire any shots. You just have to try to get the Spider Mastermind to infight with the Cacodemon. Now the reason that this level isn't ranked even lower is because the Spider Mastermind has an extremely powerful chain gun that fires 3 bullets per shot and can shred your health very quickly. And now ranked at number 31, we have episode 2, map 8, Tower of Babel, aka the Cyber Demon fight boss. This level has a Cyber Demon, and depending on difficulty, will have a number of lost souls as well. Now this level becomes really easy, even on some of the highest difficulty levels. As long as you're able to deal with lost souls and dodge projectiles, which in this case is the Cyber Demon's rockets. Throughout playing the first two episodes of the game, we would have gotten used to dodging Imp Fireballs and Cacodemon and Baron Fireballs, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem dodging Cyber Demon's rockets. And whether you're pistol starting this level or not, it doesn't really make any difference because the level already gives you a rocket launcher along with the 100 rockets, more than enough to get rid of all the lost souls and the cyber demon. It's advisable to get rid of all the lost souls first, that way once you're battling the cyber demon, you won't have to worry about bumping into any lost souls while trying to dodge its rockets. And it gets harder on nightmare difficulty because now the lost souls are charging into you more frequently, but on the bright side, Lost Souls don't respawn, so that means that on Nightmare difficulty, this level is easier than Phobos Anomaly. And sometimes I wonder why they decided to make the Spider Mastermind be the final boss instead of the Cyber Demon, which is tougher. But anyways, here we are. Okay, last level for this video. Episode 1, Map 3, Toxin Refinery. It shouldn't really be much of a surprise that the third level you face is going to be the slow on the list. But it is quite a bit harder than maps 1 and 2 because of the large number of shotgunners and the new type of monster you face in this level which is pinkies and specters. And also because there's a part of the level in which if you fall down 
you'll be stuck there while your health gets drained. And then especially on Nightmare difficulty this level gets way harder because of the shotgunners and pinkies. But either way, on all difficulty levels, E1M3 is kind of a big difficulty jump from E1M2. But another big difficulty jump is the jump from E1M3 onto the very next level if you take the secret exit, which is E1M9 military base, but that will be talked about in a future episode of this series. Ultimate Doom levels ranked by difficulty, and on the next episode of this series, we're gonna be seeing Ultimate Doom levels ranked from number 29 to number 22. I'll see you next time. Tailor Mungus has signing off.